Okay, it's April 14th, Friday, and let's see, 2.04 p.m. And my, my dad's doing a garden report one for 2023. I did one at my mom's house the other day, so now I'm going to do one at my dad's house. Um, here's the honey locust trees. They're not gotten anything yet. But we have, um, and here's that honey locust tree there, too. But we have some daffodils and ivy's bushes and stuff. Like right here, popping up. I don't know if they're blooming. We also usually have one that pops up there, but I don't know where it is because all this stuff is here, so I don't know if it came up or not. There's this bush, boxwood bush, whatever it is. There's some little tulips there, not really even much though. And this is for water to drain from the gutters. Another boxwood bush here. And this one's similar to one, I forgot what it's called, but. Here's some more daffodils. This one's probably gonna get a bloom right there. And there's a lot of tulips there. These are some irises that I transplanted that I got and I put them here. I'm gonna put some more here so they're coming up, which is good. And there's some more right here too. And these are tulips, those are irises and those are tulips right there. And then these are also irises right here. And then there's tulips, more irises, more irises there. A lot more than I thought. And then there's the big, um, the big clusters of tulips right here. These ones are red, and they're cool. So yeah, these have been here since we moved in. The other tulips, like these ones I planted a few years ago, is more there. And in this garden, there's a lot of junk in here, but we got some plants coming up still. Oh my goodness. This, uh, I didn't expect that this Johnny Jump Up started blooming. That's crazy, I wasn't expecting that. There's a giant jump up there. And other ones here, but they're not blooming, just this one is. I was not expecting that to bloom. Wow. I forgot what these are, but I planted these. More giant jump ups here, but they're not doing anything. And more there. So this is the same as these. I think I planted flowers here. I can't remember if they were what they were, but there's the columbine coming back, and there's some more here, and then there's some tulips there. More giant jump ups there and there. So tulips there, and then there's some more tulips here, and some more tulips here. This is a, some kind of sprout or tree. And more columbine here. That started over the summer from this side here, and then there's a dandelion there. These are plants here, and then um, there's some tulips here. And I saw more, like, there's little tiny stars of columbine right here and right here and stuff. And all around. So there's tulips, and then there's a start of columbine right there. And there's this honey locust tree here. And then on this side, we got some tulips here and then more of these. And these are irises here. And I planted them also, and I planted more like right here too. And there's more tulips there, but there's some more irises there. So I hope those will bloom. That'll be cool. Also, there's like some tulips like right here. And more of those flowers is, or plants. So yeah, that's kind of how our garden is right now. These tulips and then uh, sometimes, I think I plant some over here, but I don't know if they're coming up because it's like thick grass here that I need to pull out. So yeah, and then there's this honey locust tree and then Usually, if, I notice the globe willows around here are starting to get leaves, just barely. Usually they do that in March, but it's April and there's late winter here. So there's this honey locust tree. It's an imperial honey locust tree, if you're wondering. That's what the tag is. There we go. Yeah. And then, yeah, so I'll go show you the back here. Nothing much. We do have this tree here. We had a big bush here, but we had to pull it out because the gas meter here, but that was the trunk from it. And that's the neighbor's garden. And then they have an autumn blaze maple tree starting to get some leaves and buds and stuff. Here's the backyard. These junipers here. Always been here. Here is the air conditioner. 
It was on the other day ago because it was warm, but then it got cold and got snow yesterday morning, but it got melted right away. Otherwise, this street here is doing good. We trimmed it and then it came back. Like, we tried to keep it from coming back, but it came back. And we haven't trimmed it again, but it's getting buds. We'll get white flowers soon, I think. All of a sudden, the breeze is coming in, and there's the cotton trees. I don't know what they're poplar trees there. The tall ones there. The American elms there. The Douglas fruit there, and the other poplar trees. And there's that pine thing. Nothing much back here, to be honest. Except for like over here. Oh wait, I forgot. There's actually two lips over there by the trail that randomly come up all the time. And these are like pretty ones too. These ones get like a mix of red and orange flowers while the other ones in our front yard get like different colors, but the ones that a lot of them will get like red flowers. So and across this whole trail I've seen tulips scattered, but this is where most of them are somehow. So that's from there. These tall ones here, these are the bigger ones here. And there's some more here. I don't know how they got here. But I like it. I like it a lot. Tulips and then I think that's kind of the end. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's actually some irises right here. That came up. And there's usually another one, but I don't know where it is. Oh, it reminds me. I remember from our old house. There's this uh, this tree right here, which I need to move some of this stuff away from it, but I haven't checked on it for a while. So this is the box of the maple trees starting to get um, leaves and buds and stuff. And at first, I remember seeing it when it was first like just like an inch tall, and now it's like this, like almost as tall as I am. And I'm so excited to see the new growth. I guess this year will probably get taller than me finally, because all this is new. I think like all this is new. So. That's how that feels in. I think it's been a while since I showed that because it's hard to walk around back here in the summertime with all the grass is all the way up to my um, belly and all that stuff. But here's the American elm trees, a better view. Back of the Douglas fir tree. These are American elm trees too that are like by the fence. These ones also. And yeah, there's another view of those two up from the, the trees. I'll go show you our cherry tree over, over there, over there, and then things full of water since last year and this time. All started when the sprinklers came on, I had a hose, everything here filled it up and went bad. It was an accident and it's been there the whole summer long, it didn't drain out like I thought it would. But anyways, here's the cherry tree here. It's getting little buds on there, it's getting better. It's a uh, cherry stella, I think, because that's something that our old house I like. Oh yeah, the cherry stella. Those are the good ones. This is where Johnny jump ups were, but I don't know if they're coming back. It's like it was full of snow for a while, and then the leaves fell in it, and these are like the giant jump ups from last year, and I don't know if more of them are coming up. Can't tell. I think they are, but I don't know. All I know is that the pot cracked on the side. And then, here's a view of the Douglas fir tree. And then the clouds are pretty cool like that. And then here's the, uh, oops, I think I stepped on one. Nope. These are the hens and chicks tucking them in. These ones spread it a lot. Like, these ones spread a lot. And then there's some there. And there's a lot here. I like these. These are cool. And there's this tree here. I don't know if it's gonna budge, it gets pretty pink flowers. Oh, and there's some strawberries like right here and right here, and then other ones. Looks like the, uh, this is from last year. This is the hollyhock somehow is, is coming back right here, but it got tall last year, it actually got white flowers. I was expecting pink ones. And yeah, these are the uh, weeping yuccas. These are from last year also, I'll have to take those out. Now I'm gonna go show you to the side there. Nothing much in there but those bushes on the side and then some tulips and daffodils in there that are growing but they're not blooming yet. And uh, yeah, there's our dryer vent too if you're wondering. Anyways, I'll show you the side yard or the, yeah, the side yard over here. Pretty nasty in my opinion. I like the better one, this is all grass, but anyways. So these are all hollyhocks here in this garden. This is trees and stuff that I just need to pull out, but I haven't gotten a chance. And uh, 
There's a high hog sprouting right here in this uh, bite here. And there's a right here, as you can see, so right there is some tulips under those leaves. Right there. Another tulip right here, next to some hollyhocks that are starting to come up, and then some tulips there. These hollyhocks are from last year, and then there's also more hollyhocks coming up. Sometimes they try to come up in the uh, rocks here, but let's see if I can find an example of that. I don't know how they go here, but there, some over there, some right here. I don't know how long they'll make it, but anyways. There's, by the flagpole, there's, um, a lot of weed, but there's some tulips and there's some hollyhocks last year. That's what these are, and there's all the trees in the way. I don't know what this is, I don't know how I got there, but anyways, tulips there. And then right there by those hollyhocks that came up and got pretty tall, they got like pretty tall, like up to there. Wow, yeah, boxwood bush, and there's this evergreen spindle bush, and then there's this boxwood bush, and then this tall evergreen spindle bush. And this is the mess they did to us over here. There's some daffodils there. But like in November, the people, they come in, they add all these boxes in people's yards and tore up the yards. So I wonder if our sprinklers will even work. There's some tulips right there. And uh, there was also some over here, I think, but they probably tore them up with these stupid boxes they added. But yeah, there's, at least there's those ones still. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I'll let you take another look at those daffodils here. Just getting a little bud there, so that's nice. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's our garden tour part one of my dad's house, and I got one of my mom's house too, so. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed.